Oh my god, I totally thought this was gonna come in a box. And I was like, I'm gonna have this huge box. But no, it came like this. But that's okay. Make sure it got here, all right? I honestly thought it was gonna be a little bigger, but looking at it in the camera, it looks pretty huge. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it hasn't even been taken out of this bag, or has it? I don't know much about the history of this thing. I was trying to look it up. I know, I believe it was Japan exclusive. Look at the udders. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I love it so much. So the little one is definitely way darker of a pink. Way brighter of a little snout. And obviously way different quality. This part is about the same quality as <laughs> the little tail on this guy though. So definitely Japanese exclusive because you can see the tag is in Japanese. And all of this is in Japanese as well. You can see Marvelous on there. Oh, really awesome. It's super cute. Definitely really stuffed full. He's so cute and I love it so much. Oh my God. <laughs> Guys, I basically the story behind this is I saw it on Mercari, okay? Looking for some of my... 3D, looking for things to add to my 3DS collection. So I had looked up Story of Seasons. And this came up. And I'm like, I need that. I need that. Oh my gosh, this has to be my favorite strawberry cow that I own now. It's probably the best quality one too. Oh, I love it so much. Oh my god. I feel so lucky to have it. I didn't even know they had a pink one of this big one. I saw Josh, the guy that makes the farming videos, has um, the black and white cow. But I never knew they made a big strawberry one until I was on Mercari. So yeah, this is, a, this is freaking awesome. <laughs> I love it. Um, and let me show you guys my other strawberry cows. Obviously, I have this little one that I got with my pre-order of Story of Seasons Friends of Mineral Town for the US. It's adorable. I love it. I have this one, which is a Mawaii one, I believe. This is from my friend Tempe. This is so cute and really squishy. I have this little one from Amazon, which was from my friend Katie, and it's so adorable. <laughs> I love it. I have the Build a Bear one from Build a Bear, obviously. And it smells amazing. It smells like strawberries. Got the scent added to it. I have the mini Mawaii one. Um, they have a bunch of different sizes and things of this one. This is from my friend Bean. This one's so cute. This one's from somebody from Twitch, my friend Leapty. So cute. And this is from the Send a Friend. Send the box. Send a friend. And this one's really good quality too. And I have this um, Squishmallow Manatee Strawberry Cow underwater sea cow. I have this squishy little strawberry cow from Hot Topic. <laughs> it's so cute. Those are my strawberry cow collection. And now this guy, which, ah, just so cute. So while we're on the topic of strawberry cows, one of my favorite topics to talk about, <laughs> I thought it would be a good idea to talk about games that have strawberry cows. There are a few that are upcoming and there's a couple that I'm gonna add in here because I couldn't find many games other than Story of Seasons, Friends of Mineral Town that has strawberry cows. So yeah, if you know any games that have strawberry cows, let me know and we can talk about it. Leave it in the comments below. Look how cute my little strawberry cow collection is. I can't. Games with strawberry cows. Let's go. Obviously, Story of Seasons, Friends of Mineral Town. They added strawberry cows and they added the orange cows. 
Um, and they also added chocolate cows. So yeah, I forget what the orange cows are. I'd have to go back and play, but um, there's a ton of different new animals in this game, which is really fun. I didn't get a ton of them. I like the penguin I really wanted. Um, yeah, great game. I love it. I hope they come out with more strawberry gals in their future games. <laughs> but yeah, so one of the upcoming games that is obviously in development, I believe it was a Kickstarter game, is Puff Pals. I've talked about this game before, is Puff Pals Island Skies. The game can be pre-ordered and they make plushies, so they are also going to have a plushie of that strawberry cow, which I definitely want to get my hands on. Um, they already have it out, but yeah. So that strawberry cow looks a little bit similar to this one, um, but the eyes are a little bit more on the side. It has a heart on the side of its body. It's super cute. Um, but yeah, looks like an awesome game. Alpha Access has started or is starting for those who can play the game. And then the game is going to be in early access eventually. There's a lot of really cute animals in it. Their strawberry cow is named Mabel. Its date of birth is July 19th. It's a cancer. It lives on 100, uh, 100 Sprouts Road. It's 2.5 melons tall. Its weight is as light as a blooming flower. Um, which is adorable and yeah, the game looks absolutely adorable. It has farming elements It has pretty good character customization It looks like the decorating is gonna be really fun. The decorating reminds me a little bit of like Animal Crossing um, home designer and it reminds me of like The Sims or something like that, but obviously very simplified. It looks absolutely adorable and just looks like a great game. The game Cornucopia is going to have strawberry cows. Cornucopia is a 2.5D farm life sim RPG. Um, you embrace pet assisted combat, animal breeding, lush crops, and 49 plus NPCs. The game is currently in early access on Steam, so you can play it now or you can wait until it releases. I'm not sure when the full release is, but it released in early access this August in 2023. You can also play the Cornucopia demo, which I've played a little bit of, but now that I know there's Strawberry Cows, I want to play it even more um, because that's amazing. In Cornucopia, you can find love and start your own family. There is agricultural mastery, cultivate 52 vegetables and plants, 52 fruit trees and 15 berry bushes. That's a lot of trees, of fruit trees. They have unforgettable NPCs. Like I said before, there's 49 plus characters that you can gift things to, date, and there are a lot of storylines in this game with the NPCs. Pet Power, unlock pet assisted gathering and combat to conquer challenges with loyal companions. Prosperous Harvest. You can grow, harvest, and sell a variety of crops to increase your wealth. Skill development, hone your skills in mining, logging, tilling, watering, scything, fishing, and mushroom foraging. Culinary master, so there's cooking in this game. Delight in over 200 cooking recipes to impress friends and family. There's a ton. There's animal racing and breeding, which I love. There's heart pounding combat. Um, you can go shopping for furniture and items. You have a lot of creative freedom, they say. You can refine, craft, and unlock new furniture and decorations for your home. Um, and there are seasonal activities, changing seasons, and unique seasonal events. And obviously you can upgrade your home as well and explore the town. So this looks like a really cool game that they are putting a ton of work into and I'm really excited to see how it goes. I think I'm gonna play more of the demo, actually, now that I've read more about it. Um, I think that inspired me to play more of the demo, so I think I'm gonna do that today. The next game that I believe has strawberry cows in it because of the because of the cover photo of the game, the cover art of the game on Steam features a little strawberry cow. So I'm assuming there's gonna be strawberry cows in this game. This game is called Fields of Mystria, and the release date is to be announced, so don't know if that means 2023, probably not, or on the upcoming year 2024. <laughs> we will have to find out together. The art in this game is super cute, really colorful, a lot of pastels, but like also a lot of deeper colors in the other parts of the game. You should see these screenshots, they're super cute. If there's a trailer, I'll put that 
in here too, um, but I don't know if there is. Mystria, an idyllic village tucked between forest and sea, has offered you an overgrown but full of potential homestead in exchange for your assistance. Restore the town to its former glory after an earthquake wreaks havoc and strange magic begins to flow through the land. In this spiritual successor to the farm sim RPGs of the late 90s and onward, build the farm of your dreams as you discover magic, romance, and adventure. The game features customizing your character and your farm to suit your style, farming, fishing, and mining, and crafting, finding your ideal match and starting a family with one of 12 marriage candidates, raising adorable animals, and breeding rare color variants. Ah, maybe that's where the strawberry cows come in. Unlock magic that will aid you during farming and adventuring. Enjoy the changing seasons with new quests, festivals, and even villager outfits. Get to know 30 plus villagers and follow their stories. Battle foes and discover treasures as you explore ancient ruins and so much more. And that's what we know about Fields of Mystery right now. It looks like an awesome game. I actually really love the art style a ton. I love the pixelation. I, I love how it's looking. It looks awesome and I'm very excited about it. And the other two random games I want to mention that have strawberry cows in them is first of all Webkins. So Webkins has a strawberry cow plush that I guess you could play um, in that game. I loved Webkins when I was younger. I had a little ducky one and I had a bunch of other ones that I don't even remember. I know I had a hippo, but yeah, I loved that game and I loved collecting those stuffies as a kid. I don't have any of them now, but I did love that game. And obviously I love stuffed animals <laughs> as you can see, but yeah, so Webkins actually has strawberry cows in the game, and yeah, so I thought that was pretty cute. I'll show you the pictures because they're adorable. And there is an Overlook RP server, I guess, in Roblox that has strawberry cows, and they're very rare now. I guess it's really hard to get them, or there was a time period when you could get them. They have a bunch of variations of cows, and they're really adorable, and I tried playing that game a little bit today, and I had no idea what I was doing, and I was like asking around for cows. I did see one cow, but it wasn't a strawberry cow. It looked like a like a Sunday cow or something. It was really cute, but I don't want to spend money in that game that I'm never going to play again. I almost did. <laughs> so I was like, okay, okay, I'll just look around and if I don't find one, it's fine. And I was really confused the whole entire time. I've never played Roblox before. I think it's a game probably for kids. I don't know. And my friends messaged me and they're like, no man, not Roblox, don't play Roblox. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I don't know why, but okay. I'm just looking for strawberry cows, but okay. <laughs> so yeah. So those are the games that I know of that are coming out that have strawberry cows in them and two other little favorable mentions in, in there other than the story of seasons game that obviously has strawberry cows so yeah i hope you liked this video i know it was very different very sporadic and silly but i hope you enjoyed it and please feel free to subscribe to my channel please feel free to um check me out on twitch at Nintendo Gaming, and feel free to follow me on my Instagram and my TikTok where I make content about farming sims and cozy games as well as I do on here. So yeah, if you want to see anything specific from me in the future, please comment down below and I'm going to keep making more videos for you guys. I hope you have a great day. Bye!